Contractors spend a lot on small tools each year. While the individual tool may not be of high value, the total spend on tools is significant. Much of this annual spend is wasted through tools being lost, stolen, or misused. And this has been an issue in the construction industry for generations. Traditional approaches to solving this problem have been to treat small tools like inventory and assign a warehouse manager to check them in and out. This approach has largely failed for the simple reason that tools are different than consumable inventory. The inventory command and control approach has the unintended consequence of trapping tools in the warehouse, making them hard for field personnel to search and find and wasting the warehouse manager's time. The recent wide availability of smartphones in the field has opened the door to a new modern solution to this issue. Through a simple to use field app, personnel can now take the responsibility for tracking their tools directly. The initial setup of the system is easy. First, an admin user logs into the web portal and sets up a tool catalog by either entering tools into the grid or by importing the tools using an Excel sheet. Once that's completed, then under the Connections tab, additional users need to be set up. It's important that most users are classified as employees in order for the workflow to operate properly. Once the setup is complete, the admin and field personnel should download the app from the Apple Store or Google Play Store, log in with their email and password. Here we have an example of the warehouse user on the left in the black phone and the field employee on the right with the white phone. When the warehouse manager is ready to assign the tools, they can use their mobile phone to search for the tool by tapping on the yellow circle to see the available tools in a scroll menu or tapping on the top to search for an available tool. If you're using barcodes, a search can be completed using the phone's built-in camera. Notice now that I'm going to assign several tools to employee one. The employee's white phone on the right is receiving a notification at the bottom of the app for each assigned tool. The person needs to tap on the notifications and accept each tool that's assigned. As they accept each tool, the original home screen will update with the number of tools borrowed in the red circle. This acceptance is a key concept for increasing responsibility and accountability for tools. The need to accept a tool helps establish the responsibility in the mind of the employee. And this feeling of responsibility helps reduce the annual tool loss and replacement costs to the company. To encourage personal use of the app, individuals can also track their personal tools in addition to company tools. To accomplish this, a user can add a tool using the menu on the left. That tool will be added under the available tools in the yellow circle. These tools are not part of the company catalog and can only be seen when on this employee's phone. The employee can choose to make a tool available to be shared with other employees or family members or can keep the tools private. The workflow for sharing personal tools is available in other videos. However, the ability to track both personal tools and company tools is important because it encourages use of the app and provides many additional benefits to contractors who have employees that rely on a mix of personal tools as well as company tools to complete their jobs. One example of where this can be valuable is in the event that a company truck is stolen. If this happens, the employee will have a list of all of their personal tools available immediately. Additionally, the company will have a list of all the company tools that were assigned to that employee through the web portal. And that can simply be done by going to the web portal and filtering by any individual employee to see everything that was assigned. With a simple export to Excel, now both the company as well as the employee can turn in a list to an insurance company to be reimbursed for the loss. Another critical function of Share My Toolbox that's not available in other programs is the ability to completely manage tools while in the field. 
If I'm a field user using this white phone and I need to find a saw, I can tap on the search icon that's in the top right of the screen. I can then type in a search for saw and see all the available saws in our company catalog. If something's available in the company warehouse, I can simply borrow it. Or if I need this chainsaw, which is assigned to another user, I can see who has it and call that user and ask if it's available. If they're not using it and I can come pick it up, I'll drive by and pick it up. And when I do that, I'll also click transfer. This transfers responsibility for that tool from that person to myself. And because we're built on a modern peer-to-peer -peer sharing platform, all these changes are instantly updated into the web portal that's in the cloud. This ensures that all office personnel, as well as any other field personnel who are searching for that saw, can see that I now have it. And the ease of conducting searches and transfers in the field dramatically reduces the purchasing of the rarely used tools because it becomes easier to borrow something than to buy it, which saves the company money. Share My Toolbox is taking a modern approach to solve an old problem in construction. Tools are by their nature mobile. They're moving from job site to job site, from person to person, which makes them unfit to be treated as inventory. Share My Toolbox enables a company to keep the tools in the field where they're making a company money. The Share My Toolbox searchability allows a company to easily share tools and buy less duplicate tools. The Share My Toolbox Accept capability increases the accountability for tools, which reduces loss and theft. And together, these functions dramatically reduce the annual small tool cost to contractors. Share My Toolbox is the modern solution to small tool tracking.